ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Whitney. Uh, so it's Q&A Shark Week. Q&A Concrete. Yes. Concrete Q&A Shark Week. Q&A day, we got a question from El Khalil. El Khalil is a PhD student in Morocco working on concrete. We've known yeah. El Khalil for a couple years now, yeah, a yeah. year and a half, something yeah. to that effect. Yeah. Um, awesome guy. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for the question. We hope uh, studies are going well. Yes. You're awesome, dude. Yes. Okay, so the question. Ding! What's the difference between alkali activated materials and geopolymer? Geopolymer, excuse me. What are the raw materials used to produce both of them? What are the limits of using these two materials in construction? Thanks so much. Yes, so uh, let's start out with AAMs. Yes. Alkali activated materials are any type of alumina rich materials that are uh, activated by a water glass, uh, an alkali solution. That's why they're called alkali activated. So you have a dry powder and you pour a liquid or water glass that has certain alkalis in it that activate that powder, turn it into a solution, and then a hardened paste that we can use in the construction of a concrete composite. So there's no cement in alkali activated cements? Or is it a cement that just has to be activated by a water glass? It is a material that has to be activated. So it might not have that same impact if you add just plain old water to it, which would be like a Portland cement. Right. So there are cementing properties, but you have to activate it a different way than just by adding a pH of seven water to it. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. So the question was, what's the difference between AAMs and geopolymers? And geopolymers are a subset okay. of AAMs. You don't, so you don't necessarily have to activate them with an alkali, but they need something to induce the reaction. Well, most geopolymers are activated by alkalis, right? The, the difference being between an alkali activated material and a geopolymer is geopolymer, like I said, is a very specific type okay. where we're claiming that or reclaiming that powder from the earth. So it's a naturally mined material. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people often confuse it with, um, you know, uh, concrete made with um, ashes, which sure. you can use ashes, but the geo portion is, it is supposed to come from Right, and the there's earth. no standard like Portland cement or traditional cement that goes into right. a geopolymer. Now, metakaolin would be that naturally mined material that would go into that, that would need some type of water glass to activate it with mm -hmm. other things like limestones to create that hardened paste. Now, what are the limitations? Um, you know, we've worked on geopolymers for years and some very, very difficult ones yeah. where it was not just a geopolymer material claimed from the earth, but they were also using ashes and slags in it, and they also... You need to use like local... Soil. 10% of the granular skeleton had to be the on-site soil and we had to activate. So we had to put 10% of the granular skeleton had to be the on-site soil. Right. So the only limitation is, is that they can be difficult to mix it. Right. It's, you know, the great thing about Portland cement, yeah. concrete is you add sure. water to it. Well, and then the geopolymers like can take a really long time to set up too. Even with that activation, um, it can still take a really long time for it. To, well, I mean, we had some geopolymers. 36 like, hours. Yeah, 36 hours before it was even like An surface initial hard. Set time. Yeah. yeah. So, so. We, we, I mean, we hope we answered your question there, El Khalil. Oh, one of the other limitations, those water glasses can be extremely yeah. caustic right. and can cause chemical burns. So that might be right. another limitation that's a lot harder to use than water. Well, you've got to have somebody trained that knows how to yeah. safely use it. Totally. So. so hopefully that answers your questions. Let us know if you have any more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ding the bell. Go concrete! Beat asphalt.